This is Josh Sibley, head scout with Louisiana Gridiron Football. I'm joined today by Tay Langley, linebacker and defensive end from Iota High School. So, Tay, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a kid raised, country boy kid, raised from Keechaw, Louisiana, and I'm born and raised with a football family. Lived with an ex NFL football player as a father. Mm -hmm. And I also had a grandfather who also was an ex NFL player and an L Street player. What was it like growing up in that household, having an ex NFL player as your father? Always competing, always being hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, he had me working out since I was fifth grade every summer. Mm -hmm. So a lot of competing and just always being hungry. What were those workouts like? Gruesome, but they always helped me. Every summer I got better and better, and I think it just it helped me now. So you're a 6'2", uh, 230-pound linebacker. think that your workouts uh, that you've been doing now have made, made you this way. I would say it's somewhat helping me, but I'd say the workouts I'm doing right now has, has been molding me into a linebacker. And the workouts that my dad has been doing has been making me do when he was in college. Okay. And what are those workouts that he was doing when he was in college? What are those like? It's, it's a lot of CrossFit stuff. And then at the end of workouts, we do, you know, a little bit of pre boy muscles, mm -hmm. arms and shoulders, mm -hmm. but a lot of CrossFit and just full body working muscles. Okay. What do you love about football? I just love making a big hit on someone, just hearing them wince and grunt and just knocking the wind out of them mm -hmm. and seeing them not getting back up for a couple minutes mm -hmm. and just dominating. Mm -hmm. So what drives you uh, as, a, as a player in the football field? It drives me, uh, what drives me to be a better football player is to be the best. I always want to be the best one on the field. And I always want to be prepared. Like my dad, very, like when I was a freshman in high school, my dad taught me how to break game film and n know the little things that uh, guys can mess up on and just know how to, to take it as an opportunity and just take advantage of it. So your father played at LSU as an offensive lineman and in the NFL as an offensive lineman. You play defense now. Does that transfer over? Uh, yeah, it, in a lot of ways it does for me because he can tell me, he lets me know like what offensive linemen do that puts him out of position or whenever I'm making a read. Uh, I can tell what block they're trying to do, if they're trying to reach the lineman or they're trying to do a zone block. It, it helps a lot. How's your recruiting process been this year? It's been doing pretty, it's been going pretty well. Um, I'm getting uh, good looks from UL as of right now. Do you think you could fit into Ron Roberts' defensive scheme? He's a very hard-nosed, defensive-minded coach. Do you think you could fit in well? Absolutely, because that's what it's, I'm all about. I'm in your face all the time, hitting you with all I got. So I think it'd be a mistake for him not to look at me. Your spring game this year, uh, you played defensive end and middle linebacker. I heard that uh, once you move from defensive end to middle linebacker, you pretty much shut down the whole film, the, the whole field. Tell me about that experience. Uh, I, I had to agree with you. At defensive end, I think that. I mean, I wouldn't see it as much as it fit me. Mm -hmm. for me. I know I could play there as well, but middle mm -hmm. linebacker, I think I excel. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I'm the best one on the field, and no one works as hard as me, and I think I'm the up-and-coming Brian Overlocker mm -hmm. of high school football. Okay. You, you're pretty much playing sideline to sideline match, spring game, yes. running everybody down. Yes, sir. <laughs> they could, this, uh, Lake Charles can throw a pass on when I cover in the flats. They didn't make one pass over there. So, uh, how, how much weight are you looking to put on in this offseason? Well, I want to put, well, this offseason I want to be weighing around 245 of mm -hmm. muscle. And then I can, once we start conditioning for the fall, I, I can be back at 230 like I am right now. Mm -hmm. It should be solid muscle, ready to knock you over. Coach Andy has you ranked in our rankings as the number one linebacker in the state of Louisiana. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. But now it wants me, makes me want to move to the next stage and be the number one linebacker in the country.
And how does it make you feel that you're, you've been invited to our inaugural bowl game? It feels awesome. I mean, I can't wait to play in that bowl game. To be able to say that in high school, I, I was invited to a bowl game and be able to play in it. What do you think it's going to take for you personally to get to be that number one linebacker in the country? To just keep working on what I'm doing right now because I feel like I'm in a great spot right now and just keep working harder and don't ever stop being hungry and just keep fighting and just to show everyone that what am I, what am I about. Who do you admire your playing with right I like, well, in the NFL, I like to watch Khalil, Khalil Mack a lot. Mm -hmm. I like how he can just move very well into the flats and put it, like put somebody on their butt and just knock the wind out of them. I like that. I like the hard nose play, but able to cover somebody at the same time as well. I want to be the next me. I want to be Tate Langley, not anyone else. I want other players to be modeled after me. What can you bring? Uh College. What, what, what can you bring to college? What can you bring to the table for a uh, college? Uh, that I have a high motor and I can blitz very well, but you can also send me out to the flats to make a play or interception, bat the ball down, or rely on me on fourth, fourth down mm -hmm. situation, you know, tie game, mm -hmm. last play of the game, and you need to stop. I can be there. What would you like to tell a coach that we haven't already discussed that you can actually bring to his program? The overall versatility of me, uh, I play linebacker, I can play outside, I can play as a mic, I can play put my hand in the ground third down and rush the quarterback and make a sack. And also, I'm a pretty good deep snapper, so I could be on special teams deep snapping. So would you consider yourself a Swiss Army knife of football? Absolutely, because every position that I've played, I've done very well at in my high school career. What's your 40 time? My last camp that I went to, I ran uh, about 4.6, maybe around 4.7, 4.6. Okay. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. That's about it. Okay. Hang on. If you like the video, subscribe below. If you'd like to read more about athletes like Tate, please remember to subscribe to the magazine. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.